What do we have here? The Hammett Up Up Converter from New Elec, an enclosure for the Hammett Up Converter, and some connectors that will help me put everything together. Oh so, yeah, that's the Hammett Up. It's a lot smaller than I figured it was going to be. Looks bigger on the internet. Inside the case here, oh, and it fell out. So now inside the bag are the end pieces. So here are the end pieces for that and some screws. So this is a nice little board right here. Um, almost nothing on this side except for some mechanicals. And then you got on the end here, um, well there's your USB jack for power, your indicator lights. So here you have indicator lights and SMA. I think that's probably output. I'm not really sure. It doesn't matter at the moment. Um, other SMA for maybe input or output, and then the switch, which is the pass-through switch. So here's your SMA connector. There's your switch that takes it either, uh, basically puts this converter in line or takes it out of line so it acts as a pass-through when you don't want to up-convert the lower frequencies. So this board's really pretty amazing to me. A lot of stuff, a lot of small surface mount stuff packed right in there. Very nicely you can see it's the 125 megahertz up converter um, version 1.3 we're gonna put it inside that extruded aluminum case we've got some connectors over here we've got side panels and screws over here we've got the board right there we're gonna put it in there I just wanted to get one more shot of all the pieces here um, the new Elec Hammett up extruded aluminum case, the side panels, the screws, some connecting connectors, extension pigtail for the antenna connectors, and the hammer up board all by itself. Um, I'm going to go get a set of small screwdrivers so I can do this right. It's going to be a matter of just kind of lining up these pieces here with the end pieces. Really, I guess this USB here with this USB, so we're going to go like this and slide this into here well I'll put it in the proper way in a moment but slide that into there attach the standoff bolts to it get that tightened up and you would think that the set of screws that they sent these eight screws there would be like two of them that you would put through these holes in that countersink and then into this back of the standoff here and this one over here but the first clue is there's only eight of these screws and there's eight mounting areas mounting locations for the uh, side panels so those probably you know it would be safe to say those were meant for the side panels completely but i went ahead and tried them tried one anyway and they don't even fit into the standoff threading what i'm going to do for now is just use the standoffs Kind of as spacers and then rely on the end panels and these mechanical parts to keep it in place and put the rest of the screws in there but these where i have these standoffs they do line up with these holes so if i do find some screws that will fit in there i'm sure i got another little pile of them somewhere so that's kind of surprising i mean otherwise this all looks pretty good and I was happy with the purchase so far, and a lot of people online speak highly of them, but um, I hadn't seen anybody with a YouTube video where they're actually using this new version 1.3 board, so maybe that's a little bit different, and uh, maybe those holes were meant for something else, but uh, I'll make it work one way or another. So here we have everything assembled. Um, there's your USB connector, there's the I believe that's my RF output. Yeah, we can just right there. So here's the RF output on this end. Here's the pass through up converter. So to the right, it's on pass through. To the left, it's up convert. Um, you can see I've got the screws in the end here. So I'm spin it around a little bit. We've got the RF input, and then we've got our 
indicator lights, low voltage, USB power up converter. Um, you can see I got the screws in there. And if we turn it over, you can see those holes that I was talking about that line up with the standoffs, but there were no screws supplied for those to keep that in place. So if I shake it a little bit, you know, it's kind of loose in there, but if I can find some screws that fit in there, maybe some old hard drive screws or something that'll probably help me out about quite a bit. So I'm going to go look for some screws. So I found a super mother load of screws and standoffs, much like the same standoffs that are inside the ham it up case here. Um, I won't know until I try, so I guess we will see what we can do. My assistant is back. First, for the good news. So the good news is, I was able to find some screws that I could put into those standoffs, and it holds the board tight now. I shake it, and there is no movement. It's good and solid inside. You know, those screws are fitting right. I move this around, I can handle it, and I don't hear anything. There's no sound of rattling or anything. It's perfect. But, as I thought, I wouldn't have, I didn't find any that were shallow enough and would go into the countersink. So now I have something that sticks out, which really isn't too bad. I mean, it sticks like that on the counter. I think I do have some rubber feet, which I'd like to have anyway, because even as a metal box just sitting there, you know, metal on the surface isn't really the best way to go, especially with these end pieces not lining up precisely flush. Um, it'd be nice to have some, some feet on there anyway. So even if I don't have any and I can't find them right away, I'm going to buy some and put them underneath. And then I wanted to, at least for the short term, be able to use that antenna that came with the dongle, which has an MCX connector, like this guy here, and plug it into the SMA input here. So I'm, okay. So that's how that's going to go. We're going to plug the dongle into there. Well, no. That's, I totally got that wrong. We're going to plug the antenna that came with the dongle into there and then we're going to plug this guy into here and that will plug into the dongle and to help make things easier i got this six foot usb cable extender so i can uh, move the dongle farther away from the PC, you know, and on a laptop, it just having that dongle stick out of the side of the laptop isn't exactly ideal. And as I'm looking at this, I just realized that I will need another USB to power this. And I think I have some of these cables. They're kind of dedicated to other things, but I might have a spare. If I don't, I'll just have to order another one. But for the meantime, I can use a spare. So I'm going to plug this into something and see if it powers up and check the indicator light on the side here and see if um, it powers up. If it does, I'll be good to go. And it's like, you know, kind of late for me tonight, so I'll probably just end it there just to make sure it powers up. I got the USB connector. I plugged it into the Hammett Up board inside the case. The light came on. I switched the up converter switch back and forth, the proper lights came on, so I think we have power, I think things are good in general, and tomorrow we'll give it a shot because it's getting too late tonight. Have a good one. 73s.